today we'll be talking about, um, Dr. Caroline already mentioned SME Sabi to us. This is like putting a face to what SME Sabi is. We're here the first time we had introduced it. Quite a number of you actually um, participated. But I see you guys are new. And it's, it's good to finally meet you anyways. It's good to meet you. I love your faces. I love I love everything about you. Summit is, summit is cool. So let's go to our business of the day. There's no light with that bill I'm projecting. So first of all, we're talking about financial literacy. What is financial literacy? Let's begin with what finance is. What is finance? Anybody? Anybody? Of course. We all know what money is. So if you know what money is, you know what finance is. So I need us to answer me this. I'm not going to be doing this alone. It's an interactive class. You've been listening, listening, listening. It doesn't make sense having someone standing and then you're not participating. Finance. What is finance? My finance student, who is he? Four years. Anybody, please? Anyone? Biz admin, oh, those that study biz admin would know a bit. Ma? Finance. No, I'm not saying management. I didn't say. Yes, what is finance? <laughs> Nobody's saying anything, oh. <laughs> you, you all are talking. I'm not a little bit of a thing. Can we all please have a word out? Please, please. We're more mature than this thing we're doing. Auntie, you. Thank you. What well, sounds like a church government? Thank you. Thank you for saving us. What is literacy? Literacy. To be literate. What is literacy? Ma? Is anybody? Guys, please save us. Uh -uh. I cannot let these girls be beating you to it now. Please, guys, say something. Sir? Please, no side talks, please. It doesn't make sense. If you want to talk, no matter where it comes, please raise your hand. Please, please. Sir, you are going to say something. Oh, I am listening to your noise, and your are listening to your noise. Financial literacy, like she gave us the definition of finance, is your knowledge and application of skills financially. Your knowledge and application of skills. The fact that you are knowledgeable about something doesn't mean you know how to apply it. Now, this brings us to how you manage your finance. For the ladies, not all of us manage our finances, right? Yes. These, these days of buying, buying and selling on, on, online, how do you handle your finances? You just have your money and then the next thing you are seeing one bag and you are buying. You are all guilty of that. We buy on impulse. The cost is taking you on how you do buy on impulse, how you do your budgeting, how you... I you check, okay, the way and balance your needs and wants, knowing the difference between what I need and what I want, knowing the difference of how to how to go about what you're delivering. If you have 20k, what are you doing with your 20k? Somebody yesterday, somebody said, um, why are they disturbing us? I plan on being I plan on being a full-time housewife after graduation. Yes, and see, you can be a full-time housewife and be making money on your husband's couch. Yes, and learn on your couch and be making your money. It's cool that way. Nobody say you have to dress and go to go go to town. Nobody say you have to travel and come and do lecture like I'm doing now. I left my husband. It's cool. 
and I left my husband there. Nobody said you have to do that, but you can make your money. That's that's um, they said um, academic entrepreneur, academia. Now you can do cash now. Yes, lie down on your bed and be making your money. How there are now affiliate marketing, how financial literacy, how taking your SMS and the course. Yes, that takes us to the courses we have to take. We have the basic financial course and maybe advanced financial course. There has, it has six modules. I'm sorry there is no light to project it. You'd have seen it. The basic one is like the primary one and then the advanced then the primary two. The basic tells you about needs and wants, tells you the difference between needs and wants. Now, what are our needs? What are our wants? Needs are something you cannot do without. They are necessity. Can we mention at least three? Clothing, shelter, what else? Food, thank you. They do need it. No matter how high you are, no matter how only you think you are, you have to eat. No matter how only you are, you have to have the shelter. Of course, it's raining outside. You don't want to stay in the rain, do you? That's your need. But sometimes girls just come and say, I need a shoe. No, you already have one or one or two. Or you just want to buy the rainy one because there's some 20k in your account. And you just call your vendor. Just bring this one. You just now that you can even order. Just see that they are ordered. Your money is going. SME Sabi has come to tell you that you should not in quotes. Don't get me wrong, please. You should not waste waste now in quotes. You don't waste your money. When you buy things on impulse, they are waste. When you do things you're not supposed to use your money for, they are waste. When you party for some of our parties, we went on down around just to get our dinner dance for the ladies. Even the guys. I'm sure somebody who wants to shave his beard, somebody who wants to um, tint his beard. That is money. That is money. We are wasting money, just wasted our money. That money can go a long way. To tint or to do your beard now, you probably will need max some 2K. 2K is a whole lot in this present day Nigeria. You don't just throw it off. That's what SMSAB is teaching you. Don't just throw off your 2K. Uh, girls, I am, I am, of course, buying this together. Trust me. I'm not trying to be. I'm, I'm with us. You can just see something online and then they are all doing because you need it though but because it is raining or because it is fashion or because it caught your attention you are buying you bought a bag of 5k last week let's not even fetch it too much you bought a bag of 5k last week this week you're already ordering for another shoe of 5k even if you have spent 10k in this in less than two weeks and you're not even sure to get it back there's no other income as an entrepreneur, she so Dr. Caroline told us earlier. As an entrepreneur, first you you have the uh, your your ability not to spend impulsively, your ability not to spend anyhow, your ability to be creative, to come out of your comfort zone. It is not easy coming out of your comfort zone as an entrepreneur. Imagine that. Okay, you have a delivery to do. Somebody wants to bag buy a shoe from you and you have to go in the ring and then you now get that money you now use it to jewewe in yoruba doesn't make sense how would your business even be somebody should please answer me you know say some people will say oh no they, they will tell you i have someone that she is into bags and shoes but I can still tell you, I am glad to announce to you that she's the one that wears her shoes and bags. Ah, so, yes. Now, SME Sabi teaches you discipline. That brings us to discipline. This is you discipline. Invariably, discipline as to how to make, manage your money. Discipline on how to budget. Now, you plan. Planning for your retirement. You are not too young to start planning for your retirement. Yes, somebody is laughing. Yes, I can assure you that, or I promise you that after now, 
whatever it is you want to collect from your parents i don't know maybe your parents are rich for some you some of you you're lucky your parents are rich even when you're married they still will be sponsoring you fine we thank god for your life but for those that then you know and you know that once you're out of school or you is your case or until by later woman money no be so you battle can am i not correct that's it so know what is good for you now whatever it is you are getting now is beginning to flash it because it will cut at some point now what do you do when the free money yes free money you're getting when it finishes or when it stops coming what do you do how do you help yourself dr caroline already said it there are no jobs out there that's just the basic truth they think one thing you should do for yourself is get certified and um, i don't know the name of the first person that talked in money i think he's a lecturer here the dark uncle that talked mr abdusalam thank you mr salau thank you he said doctor oh sorry dr salau he said um, somebody he was telling us about a lady that got um, seven seven scholarships because she got certified and SME Sabi gives you a certificate it is an added advantage now i'm not supposed to mention this to us i'm even live online your SME Sabi certificate for you now is free but i can bet you by come november next year you will have to pay for it so for those of you that may not get on badge A, you won't be lucky to get your SME SABI certificate for free if you don't do it now. I'm not forcing you to do it. Now. I'm not. I'm only saying that it would be wise for you to do it now so that you don't begin to pay for it. Because GIZ, in collaboration with F with you, Mina, is already taking SME SABI to core members not just core members it is taking you to their secretariat and if you don't do it you don't even get your certificate that's where you now begin to lobby something we are bringing for you free you want to go and lobby for it i ask again does it make sense it doesn't thank you what is the benefit of being financially literate <coughs> You have to understand the different financial instruments. No, the bonds, no. I was talking about retirement the other time. Somebody interrupted me. You are not too young. You are not too young. If you open, okay, I know for Sigma pensions. If you open an account with them today, whatever your age is now, you can cash out when you're 50. Yes. So imagine that you begin to, for those of you that are capable, you begin to save at least 10 k every month at 25. Mm -hmm. Do the calculation. You please use your phones. Use your phones. Times 25. Basically, your cash out age with Sigma pensions. I don't know for any other one. I know for Sigma pensions. Your cash out age is um, 50 at age 50. And you start saving at 25. Let's not say 20. 20 is still, would say she is young, but you're not young because I'm 18 or married. So those of you that can, if you can keep marriage, you should be able to keep money. Um, if you can keep marriage, you should be able to keep money. Because the sense you need in keeping a home is less, uh, is more than the one you need to keep money. Am I right? Who is doing the calculation for us? Three million naira. One thing that we do not have, excuse me, please. I thought we had an agreement on having a one house. Thank you. He said, his question, I'm not sure you guys heard it. He said, what if the person dies before death? Well, 
no, 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 and if you're 50, by adventure, you become 50. By God's grace, not even by, by adventure, by God's grace, we all want to live long. You're 50. You only save 3 million naira. For the rest of your life, they'll be paying you. I'm not here to market my pensions. Anyways, I'm here to tell you about SME Sabi. SME, small, medium enterprise, Sabi, pigeon English, so that we can carry the masses alone not just it's not just for educated people you can go you can go out and and preach it yes let me use the word preach it it is, it is to carry even the moment on tata on the streets alone it's to carry everyone along the cleaners the pepper seller what's the lowest thing again that we can think of the lowest menial job Pure, pure that is not me. Pure that God is entrepreneur. Pure that God is entrepreneur. Borobo is entrepreneur. Right from the days of old, we, we grew up knowing our grandmothers selling. Me, my grandmother sells. I'm, that time that I was not born again, I used to steal her money. Yes. And we all say, um, Ma? and we all say, Borobo, no, no, you say me. That's because we're not disciplined with our spending. That's why you say, um, ate, that's a Yoruba word, ate, ulo, ulo, ulo. If you don't eat from ate, I promise you, 30 naira is money. While I was in school some few years back, some six years back, I told myself that uh, my back, my bike to and from school was around 160. So that 40 naira every day. I had my Milo container, I will put it. Mm -hmm. In three months, I think I got, I think I got Denki, and I cheated. Because in between, if I don't have change, I will remove from it and go and buy water. I cheated. So, what SME Sabi is teaching me is consistency, discipline, financially disciplined, and we're in a practical class, when financial discipline, financial literacy, financial planning, SME Sabi teaches you not to buy on impulse, not to buy irrelevant things. If you have to buy, if you have, if you have to buy this phone for 70k, it means you have times two of it saved in your account. Resting. That's what SME Sabi financial literacy course is teaching you. Yes, we know things happen. But what do you fall back to? Your business, you're, you're not supposed to eat from your business. That, that, that brings me back to where I stopped about provision at the provision selling. You're not supposed to dip your hands into your, your business money. We say Kosere, say who that Kosere because you have. You have eaten all the profits you got from it, even without your knowing it. Or better say, let's say you knew, but you didn't think your removing from it would affect the business. That's the mistake we keep making every time. We don't always think eating from the business would finish the business. Today, Milo is now 18 era. No, Milk is 18 era. Milo is 17 era, thereabouts. Imagine that me, as a shop owner's daughter, we we'll remove, we we'll keep removing one million, one make every day. One million, one make every day. Is the business going? The money I am removing, let's say I remove 10, 800 naira and 700 naira. How much is that? One five every month in a business of probably 5k. I've eaten up the, the profits. Have I done justice to, the, to my mom's profits? No. Imagine that we're selling coke every day and I want to please my son. Mommy, give me coke. Bah. Mommy, give me coke. Bah. That's what we do, women. We always want to indulge our children. I'm guilty. First time, no. So it always happens like that. But am I doing well? Coke now, praise. 2,000 in going on 3K. 
and I keep giving my son one every day. That's it. This. But if you are to module grades, you know we have finished in calculation. We have finished more than one grade. Are we still with me? Thank you, sir. So now, please bring out your phones on your data. Please, I'm giving an instruction. Whether or not you will do it, please show me that you are respecting me. Thank you. Bring out your phone, raise up your phone like this. On your data. Well, you see, somehow, SME is the only platform that begs you to go. Let me use that word. SME Sabi is the only platform that begs you to go. Or better still, you have the opportunity to be begged because of where you find yourself. And all thanks to your VC, because it's the one presenting, presenting this to you on a platter. Yes. Imagine that you have to pay for this. Imagine that you have to pay for the cost. You have to certification. Please, we see, I'm still standing here. I know we're adults, but then we should learn to respect ourselves. You're taking two courses. I'm paying for two certificates. Do you know what it means to pay for two certificates? Anyways, whether or not you understand now, when you get to the camp, you will understand. Or during your NYC, you understand. Because I said, Mr. B, this one, man, you are listening to me, you are making noise. I will still come to your camp. And I will still pitch SME Sabi. And but at that time, I will collect my money. That's just it. Because if you don't do it, you don't have NIC certificates. Even if you're getting exempted. Because if you feel like, okay, I'm over 30, I'll get exempted. For your exemption, I'm going to join SME Sabi and exemption. So it is better to do it now that you have it for free. It will not cost you anything. It is self-paced. You can finish it depending on your dedication to it. You can finish it now, bro. As we are seated here, you can run through the six models because they are very simple. Keep scrolling. This is what I was telling you about basic financial literacy course. Consists of six models, needs and wants. That's where you get to understand. You need to you need to differentiate. You need to you need to set your priorities right. Managing your money and keeping records. Like the world goes something. Even if you have to remove from it. Are you writing it down? Note it. Be sure that, okay, so so day I know so so thing. How do you get it back? Saving, of course. We already talked about saving our money. Sending money and making payment. Do you just send like that? Do you just, what are you sending money for? What are you using the money you are sending for? Do you know that banks even make money from you? Where SME Sabi is teaching you how to make money and not to spend money? Yes. <laughs> yes. If you become an entrepreneur, you're making money, aren't you? If you sell anything, you're making profit. Now, I have always, I have always um, deceived myself by saying I'm not a business person. But thinking about it, I'm a business person. Because somehow, if Dockers is selling something, I'll just copy it and put on my status. She did not send me, not those of you that they... Yeah, and they, they have become influencers. Somebody will just say, help me do this, you do eh, eh. This one, she didn't send me. I just did it. Somebody will call me, oh, babes, alpha. And I will say it's 7K, something of 3K. I will say it's 7K. I have made money from knowing her. That's the kind of thing SMS have is telling you. I've done that, I think, thrice. Yes. Somebody came to the office the other day and brought, and brought clothes. I took it because I was, I was, I was less busy. So I took it and was running around in the office and my bosses were asking me, what are you doing, what are you doing? I said, clothes, 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 7K, I sold it 10K. Nobody asked me. 
I collected my 3K. The girl did not ask me. She, fact is, she was very thankful because she didn't think she was going to make sales for that day. She just came like try up. And you keep saying you're not a business person. You are, you are a business person. You're, you're all seated there are entrepreneurs. For the guys, think of something you can sell. Think of something you can do. That's why they keep telling you. Another word for thinking and doing is creativity. What can you think of? What can you do? What, what brings in money? Money is important too. When you have money, you won't even be bothered with dollar rates. It's those other money that is uh, dollar to the one million, dollar to the five million. When you have money, you're not even thinking it. That's just basic truth. When you have money, you're not bothered about whatever anything is doing. Fraud and scam. They will just call you up. Hello? Do this, this, that, that, that. that. You will know you have an understanding of what to, what to and not fall for. You have an understanding of what to and not fall for. I'm a business finance. How do you finance your business? How do, if you want your business to be financed, how do you finance it? All of these courses are embedded in your SME, SABI, financial affairs. Please go. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. It's not much. It's not much. It's only six modules. And I promise you, they are very interesting. Very, very interesting. Yes, that's your certification. Stop this. That's your certificate. Ready. Once you register now, the, don't put them, um, um, don't go and put Miss Pretty or Lucky like Nicole. No. Please put your name. If you know you want to run the course, and if you know you're registering, put your full name. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. And we have a advanced. Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So how are things are going to be? Yes. Because I think this is talking about the company. Yeah, this is the basic. Yes. Uh, you've done it. Thank you for doing it. Thank so, you for being. So, yes. For those of you that have done it, thank you for being a part of the community. Did you get your certificate? Did you download your certificate? Yes. Yes. You got yours. Thank you. Sir. You got yours. I am telling us about the name on it because it is the name you use in registry that we appear on your certificate. So if you put Miss Pretty Sexy Clinical, that's what you have on your certificate. And it will not take you nowhere. Yes. You cannot use, you can't use Miss Pretty or that to apply for a job. You can't use Miss Pretty or that to tell them that you run a course somewhere. It doesn't make sense. So whatever that is worth doing is worth doing well. Your registration. I just have clicked www.smesabi.com. We're not clicking it. <laughs> so your name, it gives you a username. Yes, your name, your name, last name, surname. Eventually, it gives you a, it, it gives you two names, not like the usual long. At the you know, it chooses just two. So eventually, you shall see any of your name. It could be Suyat, Abdurama, it could be anything. Yes. That's what we was saying. For those of us that have, like um, Mrs. Babi has asked, for those of us that did the basic, what's stopping us from running the advanced? Did we enjoy it? Sir. You don't need to. Yes. Uh uh. I was supposed to give you a gift though. Please see prop for your gifts. Yes. Please see prop from your for your gifts. Is the is your gapata pata of the SME service of the so I only have three participants that will be getting my gifts. And I'll say congratulations from this end. <laughs> Okay, no, because I said it, somebody's here is now standing like antenna. <laughs> and I, I didn't remember to tell us that there's an assessment. 
Yes. When you do, when we teach you, when we teach you in class, you do classwork. This is like a classwork. You have the pre-survey and the post-survey. Pre-survey is what you what you have before starting the course, and post-survey is what you have after taking or learning from the course. We want to be sure you really followed us. In Nigeria, we have people that can act it and just do the thing and write their name on the certificate. So, we'll be talking about the finance. I think I have to send it to them. Benefits of financial literacy. Are we right? Sir? You may think it's not necessary. You have the soft copy of that. This one. Mommy, if I got fancy, will leave. If I got fancy, will leave. On the same way, it's not done. Mark it as up. He said, We they did not take my course. I'll now come and give them. I'll back. 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 I'll Look up, everybody. Please look up. Increases your confidence to make financial decisions. When you know you're sure of what you're doing, when you when you are aware of your options, you know what you want to wait for. Am I selling? Am I going to be selling shoes and bags? Am I going to be selling clothes? Am I going to be Am I going into real estate? Am I going to be selling house, land? Am I going to be selling properties? It gives you, it gives you an edge as to your nego your negotiating um, um, sense at the antenna becomes wider. They cannot just call you for any job. They cannot just call you for any kind of business. You'll be like, pay so so thing. If it's not something I'm coming to. I know how much I will charge to leave my comfort. Now, with this weather, I know how much I will deal you. When I bill you, I'll be sure if you can pay. If you can pay what I'm billing you, it means you're ready to do business. That's what it helps you to do. You make good financial. If I, I can just sit down like, hello, okay, we need you to go. Oh, okay. You're paying me for my time. The academic part of it. You're paying me for my time. So if I tell you, Pay me 300k. Yes. Yes. I'm a writer. I proofread. I proofread your work. I do editing. If you're sending your work to my mail, is it not my data? We used to open it. It's my data now. So I have to buy my data. And my eye, I'm still a small girl. I, I have to read and I have to eat well so that I'll be able to read and see. So if I say pay me 300k, if I want to be nice to you, I'll reduce it. If not, at least you're paying me nothing less than 250 to proofread your work. Yes, that's uh, a cardocrino. 
just to read what you are selling. I didn't help you to write it. You will just write your thing. I'll just help you check your English, your spellings, your grammar, check for your punctuations. You're paying me my school 250k. So afterwards, I'll know okay if I can still work with this person or not. I, I'll, I'll be sure if I can still work with you. Just like you that is selling, okay. We think an entrepreneur is just somebody selling shoe and bag. No. But since you think that's just it is what it is about, fine. You that is selling clothes, would you sell to someone that owes you or someone that pays you in cash? I'm asking us a question. That's it. What has it done that way? Your knowledge has given you an edge to decide where. I know some people when you scroll through their markets, whatever, when they do advert and you scroll, they will tell you, they will tell you, they will give you like they will tell you um, um, prices that are much so that you don't even ask them because they don't want to sell to you. It's not because they don't like you, it's because they love their business more than your friendship. That's just the truth. And that's what financial literacy is telling you. You need to love your business more than anything. Any do or don't or something, something. You're about to finish the adage. Uh -huh, thank you. So your courses gives you power to negotiate, like I mentioned earlier. My financial knowledge will tell me you are giving me this work three hundred k or nothing more. If you can't pay, I'm not doing. It. If you can't pay, I'm not leaving my house. Basically, or better say, okay, this job does not require that I leave my house. Send it to me. I'll do it and send it back to you. I'm not moving an inch. Three hundred k, bang, we enter my account. First off, if I work, you pay half. When I'm done, you balance me. Do you get it? gives you the power to negotiate. So it will clearly, it, it gives you a clarity of what you want to do. Okay, I have three hours to do this work. I know in three hours I'll make so so pay. Please, the class, the class is becoming rowdy. Please. I think your ability to protect yourself it only boils down to what we've been talking about. Like I asked us earlier, between the one that we pay and the one that we buy on credit, who are we going to sell to? The one that we pay. What does it do? You're protecting yourself and your business. It doesn't matter what friendship you're losing. Your money is your money. Use your chances of achieving your goals. What is our goal? What's the goal for making money? But not answering no so. What is our goal? <laughs> eh? To be financially stable. And when you eventually get financially stable, what do you use the stability for? <laughs> Let me some let me something educative, please. Ma save for the future. Yes, you are saving. When you eventually save, when you are done saving, what would you use it for? Investments. Uh -huh. What are you investing in? Investments. Uh -huh. Sir? Buying of assets. Buying of assets, the kind of investment, what kind of investments are we talking about? What kind of investments are we talking about? What are we shareholding? Huh? Real estate, and uh hair. -huh. Huh? Don't deceive yourself on people. <laughs> Don't deceive yourself because you're only giving yourself a potential. Today you will rise, tomorrow you come. Tomorrow you will... Don't deceive yourself. Corporate tips. I don't understand corporate tips. Can you please explain? In all of this, you are telling me everything you want to do. In all of this, what? Be doing. Now that you have made all the money, what are the goals you want to use the money to achieve? Hmm? 
Anybody? Anybody? Ma? You want to create a piece around about plus for her? <laughs> Creating job opportunities. When you create job opportunities, you will not say CEO, but I'm CEO, red right? dog CEO, CEO, yes. Yeah. 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 Provides you with an overall better quality life. Oh, what a fine she fine boy now. And I can often do something. Provides you an overall better quality life. Because oh, what a fine do something, no, Abby. That's it. You like I said earlier. When you are rich, you're not bothered about dollar dollar that is family five billion. When you are rich, you are rich. Our class is becoming round again. When you are rich, you are rich. Dollar was a low million, and some people still bought ordinary tickets for hundred million in this country. Abi, do they have two heads? Now we're not communicating anymore. Let's talk about the advice. to the advanced financial literacy course. You have what? On the basic. Okay, let's take it. No cost no. Refresh. Refresh. After here, just refresh. No, don't go for advanced. But if you know, no, 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 don't go for advanced, please. If you have done basic, yes. But please be honest with yourself. You can't go to primary three without primary one. Yes, please. You don't have to answer that. Just register first. Sir, I said that refresh. I think the server is down. So, like the basic financial course, we have yes, click on basic. basic. We have the advanced financial course. And it has six models. Model one, financial planning and budgeting. Two, financial environment. Three, financial consumer rights and responsibilities. Okay. Financial consumer rights and responsibility. 
Please, even if you only listen, for the sake of those that are writing, reduce your noise if you can't be quiet. Thank you. Number four, borrowing. Number four, borrowing. We're talking about the advanced financial course now. Financial literacy course, advanced. This is the BFL. We're talking about the AFL. Advanced. Number five, investing. Number five, investing. Number six, paying tax and levies. Paying tax and levies. Paying tax, pay tax as a good citizen. Others oh, internal revenue that comes to disturb in your shop. Paying tax and levies. Yes. Again, we have the survey. We have the module. We have the module assessment. We have the post survey, and then the certification. It's the same format as the basic financial HSC course, but just that this part is a step ahead. The advanced, and in the advanced, we have. Um, I mentioned financial planning and budgeting. Financial planning and budgeting is thinking about your financial goals and making them work and how to achieve your goals. When you have thought about it, how do you make it work? How, how do you go about it? You do not necessarily need a shop for those of us that want to do buying and selling. You do not necessarily need a shop to have your own business. For those of us that think, okay, business is business. You do not necessarily have to have a shop. Gone are the days where you say, I need capital to start a business. No. Now all you need is financial literacy. You go online and post your goods online. And you dead end 5k pay before delivery. Abby, am I right? I'm sure we've heard that before. Somebody will tell you pay before delivery. Yes, you can be that entrepreneur that does pay before delivery. Sometimes it is that money that you pay. They used to go and buy that good too. Hey, hey, I'm glad you are agreeing with me. The person does not have capital, does not have shop space, nothing. The person is just on his couch, like I mentioned earlier. And the person will tell you, pay before they give you. All the person needs to do is show you the picture. And it is by yourself that you will do yourself by liking the picture and asking how much. Am I right? Are we listening at all? It is by yourself you do yourself and say, how much is it? The person will tell you 5K. You say, bring it. You say, no. Pay before they give you. And sometimes you have to even pay for webby. Uh, they will not be nice enough to send it to you free. No. That is a sensible entrepreneur. Budget. Talking about budgeting now. Summary of the money you expect to earn or receive, and now you plan to spend it. Now, if you're making a million naira, you should have... Um, you should have the record written as to how you want to spend your money. You don't just say, sometimes you eat it big that you make a good profit and you see one million naira profit and the next thing you are thinking of is how to paint the town green, blue, and red. No, as an entrepreneur, you should learn to, let me borrow the word, recycle your money. Financial literacy teaches you how to recycle, how, you, how to reinvest your money into the same business. Making your first one millionaire does not make you a millionaire. Yes. Eh, eh. You said? Yes, making your first one millionaire does not make you a millionaire. Dangote said, I knew I am a millionaire the day I withdraw, the day I withdrew 10 million naira of cash and to the goal. Dangote, the richest man in Africa. Yes. So one million naira does not make you rich. We are still talking like this because you don't have the money in your hand. When you have one million naira and you take one thousand naira, how much is the benefit? Do you still have one million? Do you still have one million? No. no. When you have one million naira and you take away one thousand naira from it, you are no longer a millionaire. 
Eh, you are back to being a thousand years. Yes. So your first one million naira doesn't make you a billionaire. So budget and plan well as to how to use it. And that's why you need to reinvest your profits. You don't go spending your profits. Financial environment, financial institutions, financial markets. What does what does your financial environment as to offer you? <coughs> we have the government, we have individuals, we have firms around firms around the business. Government. Government give grants. I am um, glad we all know and we are, we are um, what's English now? We all know that government give grants and we have been taught how to get grants. Am I right? Hello. Hello. Hi. We've been taught how to get grants. Governments give give grants. There are there are individuals too that give grants, like the Tony Elumelu Foundation. <coughs> Like that, like that. Financial consumer rights. As a finance, as a financial person, as an individual, what are your rights? What are your rights as as an entrepreneur? What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to know? So that nobody comes to cheat you out of your rights. Right, something you have claim over based on contract, uh, contractual relationship. Right to be informed, right to choose, right to safety, right to be dressed, right to be treated fairly. Now, this applies to when you are taking a loan. The bank, when you walk into a bank and you want to take their loan, you have the right to know everything at stake. You have to be informed as to, okay, this is the plan that works for your little business since you are just starting. This is the plan that will go with your long-time plan and your short-term plan. The right to choose. You have the right to choose what you want. Nobody, they are not, nobody is to impose anything on you and say, hey, no, do this one, this is better. It is your right to choose. The right to safety. If the right to safety has to, after choosing, they still have to guide you through your choice. Right to be dressed, like, okay, maybe when you go home and think about it, and you want to change something, you can still go back there and tell them, okay, I want to change. What are those rights? When you do your financial course, the advanced parts you receive, they will ask you questions about it and you answer it right. Trust me, the, the, the questions, the modules are simple, the your courses are simple, the English is simple and attractive. You have videos in between that entertain you, yes. Which courses do that does that for you? When you are reading, you are reading, nobody cares if you're, you're, you're being entertained or not. But SME Sabi Financial Literacy course gets you or keeps you entertained. They, they show you little clips of what we are talking about. Borrowing, no matter how much you earn, sometimes it may never be enough. For me, I think you only can borrow when you are not. Sometimes you borrow when, for me, when you're not financially disciplined. There are some borrowing, yes, there are some borrowing that are, that are avoidable. Thank you. Investing, what do we invest in? People are already mentioning real estate, gold, blah, blah, blah. Shall be wise in your investing. Taxes and levels, you know you have to pay and compute. Like that. Certification and assessment, same thing as this one. As you're finishing, you're getting your certificates. Try and finish it. Thank you very much for having me.